All right, so I connected my uh, Alienware laptop. Uh, I'm using my uh, Chrome browser, obviously, and I'm on the Stadia Shift and Tab. I already made two friends. That's me over there. If you, if you guys can see it or not, that's me over there. Um, it's Stadia Upscaler. That is me right there. I already got a couple of my subscribers, a couple of my friends. They found me. Uh, look, here's the thing. Here I am. I'm connected right now to a Wi-Fi hotspot on my laptop using a Chrome browser. And it's a 1080p 60 and it runs pretty smooth. No latency, no issues. I haven't seen any hiccups. Now, granted, it's been, what, almost uh, two weeks. Was it two weeks or... I don't know, maybe 10 days. It's been about 10 days since uh, Google Stadia officially launched, right? Let me see, 19, 20, 21, 20, uh, actually seven days. Okay, seven days. It's been about seven days since Google Stadia launched. Granted, I didn't play this at launch. I, I didn't do the testings at launch. I'm pretty sure there were some hiccups, obviously. There were some issues. But look, guys, we got to be honest. We, we can't just... <laughs> We have to be transparent. We, we can't just crap on something for the sake of uh, crapping because it's it's a it's a cool thing or it's a trending thing. Let's go on a Stadia hate bandwagon. Let's just hate. Okay. I really thought I was going to have a terrible experience. I thought I was not going to be able to get anything going. I thought it was going to be like a terrible uh, latency is going to be horrible. That's what I thought. Well, guess what? I was wrong. It's not. It runs smooth. This is Destiny 2. Uh, it's very easy to to go check out your other players who are subscribed to you. You can use a mouse and keyboard if you want. Uh, you know, it runs pretty smooth. And I'm. This is a 48 megabits per second uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. That's about maybe two blocks from here. The, the the closest the closest Wi-Fi hotspot two blocks from me, and I'm getting 48 megabits per spec, uh, per second. 48 megabits per second, and look at it, no issues. It's 1080p. Okay, so what I'm saying is that I think Google Google will, in order for Google Stadia to truly like evolve, it's going to take some time. Okay, because remember, they can always up, upgrade the, the servers. They can always upgrade uh, the teraflops, the GPU, the CPU. They have the ability to do that in Silicon Valley, okay? If anyone has the ability, that's the Google in Silicon Valley, all right? All right? They have that ability. But we have to be patient, okay? Um, here's the thing. I bought into it, and this is a lesson learned. Uh, and I hope that you guys learned lesson from this video. You can't. This is why I always tell people it's, and I'm guilty of this myself. You can't judge something unless you try it. Okay. That's my whole point here. You can't judge something unless you try it. Because uh, if we're gonna live in a world where we just simply you know, jumping on and riding that same bandwagon that everybody else is riding, right? If we're going to live in that kind of a world, well, then uh, that's not cool, all right? And again, I was guilty of it myself. You know, I bought into it. I thought this is going to be a terrible experience. I thought, well, I'm not going to be even able to... to I thought I'm going to have maybe like 5 or 10 frames per second or, or the latency is going to be horrendous. But that's not the case here. The latency is not horrendous. Actually, the latency is better. It's better than the X Cloud. I'm not kidding. Uh, way this runs way better than the X Cloud, guys. I'm not kidding. Uh, this is super smooth. I didn't get this kind of a uh, smooth experience with uh, with X Cloud. Okay, and I was connected to the same Wi-Fi hotspot on the phone that I'm using right now. I'm using uh, Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot, which is 48 megabits per second. And look at this. There you go. Now, the quality, it's it's not 
like natively sharp like it would be for example on your on your computer or on your console but it's pretty darn close okay it is pretty darn close and it works listen man it works this is just the first stages i think what google state is trying to tell us here is that this is just the beginning this is just the beginning and they're going to be able to obviously achieve a hell of a lot more in the future I think we'll see a full potential probably by summer of 2020. I think spring and summer of 2020, I think that's where Stadia truly is going to take off. And that's where we're truly going to uh, see what's available. Okay. If you want to see this game in action, I suggest that you see my uh, previous video that I did about the Google Stadia where I uh, was recording the uh, 1080p 60 directly captured from uh, Google Stadia and also had a camera facing the controller. Just like here, as you can see, I can switch between a controller and a mouse and a keyboard very easily, and that's cool. That's pretty awesome. So what I'm trying to say, here's what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, yes, I understand that Google Stadia lied about some stuff. I understand that they didn't include the features at lunch. And I, I understand they should have at least be more transparent and honest about some of the issues. But I'm willing to give them a second chance. Because I can see, I see a potential. Here's what I'm trying to say. I see a potential here. I see a potential of something great happening here. And I think we should give them a second chance. Now, granted, they should be more transparent. They shouldn't, they shouldn't lie to people, obviously. They should be more transparent. Uh, they shouldn't tell people that uh, there is no issues with the uh, Chromecast Ultra overheating. You know, uh and they should be more honest about whether or not uh, they're getting the true 4K and HDR. I'm going to check those claims myself on Friday once I receive my Google Stadia package. I'm going to test it. If anybody can do 4K HDR, it's this guy right here. One gigabit up, one gigabit down, okay? So I got a pretty kick-ass internet speed, all right? You've seen me do 4K HDR... You've seen me do 4K live streams for 10 and a half hours. For 10 and almost 11 hours. Just on Death Stranding, I did 4K. So you know that I have the ability to, 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 to stream and to, uh, to be able to watch 4K in HDR. It's like it's nothing. I will do the test. I will see it for myself. Now, if I can achieve... This kind of uh, stable gameplay with a 48 megabits per second on a Wi-Fi hotspot. And I'm using a hotspot, Wi-Fi hotspot. If I can do that with this, then uh, that's a good news. That means that they're really rocking some pretty awesome servers out there. All right. Look, I can only tell you what I'm experiencing. Obviously, everyone will have a different experience. You know, if you're running some terrible internet, if you're running some terrible modem and a terrible router, and you got a bunch of people hooked on it, man, it depends. So everyone will have a different experience here, all right? Uh, but I'm not going to bash, and I'm not going to crap on the Google Stadia for no reason. I'm having no issues. Everything's running smooth. Why, you tell me, why should I? Why should I why should I make fun of them? Why should I roast them if there's no reason for me to roast them? That doesn't make any sense. You only roast somebody when there's a pretty good reason for you to roast them. Okay? All right. And I think the lesson we learned here is that people need to try things out before they can form their opinions. And and I said this and I'm guilty of this myself. I would jump on that bandwagon just like I jump on that bandwagon with the OLED. 
the burn in, the burn in, retention and the burn in is the, the, the nonstop burn in. Your television's on fire. I have my LG OLED for a year. A year. Almost a year. Not one single issue. And I tested that OLED more than anybody. I have done truckload of, of tests on that OLED. I haven't had any issues. I connected my PC, consoles, you name it, man. I use it daily. Never had any issues. So we have to be careful. And, and I want you guys to take one important message here uh, from this video. I don't work for Phil Harrison. I'm not associated with Google. I don't live in California. I don't work for Silicon Valley. I'm not a Silicon Valley employee. I'm not an employee of Google. I'm not a shill for Google. Google didn't pay me to, to say this, to do this. I paid this with my own cash. $138 plus tax, plus $10 for the uh, the pro subscription, which comes to $150, $149. I paid $149 out of my own cash to test this for myself. So what does that mean? That means that I'm independent. I'm truly independent. Do I make mistakes? Of course I make mistakes. But at least I can admit to my own mistakes. At least I have the courage and dignity to, to acknowledge when I'm wrong. Okay? Not a lot of YouTubers will do that. I am able to do that. I'm able to acknowledge when I screw up. And that, that's a huge difference. That's a huge difference between me and others out there. It's called transparency. Okay? So... I will obviously do a bunch of tests on this. I will I will even do a live stream of this. Maybe I'll do a live stream of this tomorrow where you guys can ask me some questions regarding the pricing. Now, in terms of value, that's a different story. Uh, I'm speaking from a technical point of view, it works. From a technical point of view, it works. Now, in terms of value... Is it worth it? You're paying $60 for something that sits on the cloud and requires an internet for you to, in order for you to use it, to play it. Of course, I'm not a huge fan of, of cloud anything because I like to uh, own the, uh, the video games. I like to own the movies. You've seen how many movies I have. You've seen how many 3D Blu-rays I have, how many 4K movies I have, how many games I have in physical media. You know I am in no shape or, or form uh, fan of cloud gaming but I think this is going to happen guys listen the future of cloud gaming is going to happen whether we like it or not okay these are just the first stages and um, I am looking at this from a technical point of view that's how I'm grading it right now not in terms of a value I'm, I'm grading it in terms of a technical point of view it works it's very easy very fast to set up you don't need a Google Pixel uh, 3 or Google Pixel 4 to set up the account. You can use your latest Note 9, Note 10, uh, S9, S8, S8 Plus. You can use those phones and you can download the app and within minutes you're good to go. All right. And it's very easy to go to the, uh, to the Chrome browser. You just type in stadia.com and it automatically with the account is going to recognize you. And it's going to go ahead and take you to your reserved spot of your account. All right. So I'm just here to be honest. Okay. I'm not here to, to ride uh, or to drink a Kool-Aid of uh, Google. I don't drink anybody's Kool-Aid. I'm just simply saying it works so far. Because what I have been hearing from everybody, it's that it's like a horrendous experience that you can't even play a game, that everything sucks, there's a latency, that you can't even move your controller. It takes like maybe 10, 15 seconds till you move a controller for, for, the, for a character to move. I heard stories, people are saying that it takes 15 seconds for the character to move. And I'm like, come on, it, 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 it really? It can't be really that bad. So, lesson learned, guys. Lesson learned is... Listening to the others, it's not always such a good idea. It's actually, it's, it's the worst idea to listen to the others. Don't listen to anybody. Don't even listen to me. Try it out. Always try things out for yourself. Don't listen to anybody. 
I don't care if it's your mother, if it's your father, if it's your relative, if it's your brother, if your sister. You do not listen to anybody. You try it out for yourself and you make your own decision. Okay? Just like Phil Harrison says on that interview, I'll give him credit on that interview. He said, I want people to try it out for themselves. And I think that's the only way. That is the only way. You got to try it out for yourself. You, you got to dive in. You got to pay that 138 Or if you don't want to pay $138 right now, then you can wait till next year. And then for free, play it. But for right now, if you want to reserve your spot, if you want to be the first one among the very first ones, is there going to be some caveat in being among the first ones? Maybe. I don't know. Um, but maybe you can say that you helped out. Maybe I can say that I helped out move this service maybe five years from now 10 years from now i can say back in 2019 i actually uh i put my money on the table to help this service move forward you know but anyway let me know what you guys think you heard what i have to say there will be more tests on this this is just my uh, very first impressions this is wi-fi hotspot no issues, no breakdowns on my laptop, okay? On Friday, I'm going to obviously check out the 4K and HDR to see how that runs. Is it true? Does the uh, Chromecast Ultra overheat? Stuff like that. We'll do some bunch of tests, as promised. So uh, stay tuned for more Google Stadia stuff, all right? Remember, transparency and honesty, that's what I'm all about. And if it bothers some of you, well, then you... Uh, you subscribe to the wrong channel. I'm not about holding a jersey for anybody. I'm not a clown, even though I like to have some fun, entertain. But at the end of the day, we have to be fair. And if I'm not fair, then I'm just like every other clown out there. If I'm not going to be transparent, if I'm not going to be fair. Okay? And I'm not saying I'm perfect. Of course I'm not. But at least I can admit when I'm wrong. Okay? So, there you have it. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good one. Take care.